Hey guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look and doing a quick review of the A9 Cronova Mini Projector. Look at how small this thing is. Up next. Hey guys, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of different type of tech reviews as well as tutorials. So if that's something you're into, please consider subscribing. Today we're taking a look at this awesome little Cronova A9 DLP mini projector. And in addition to the fact that it is so small, it's very lightweight and it's got a built-in battery. So the coolest feature about this projector is you can take it with you wherever you want to go and you don't even need to plug the thing in. You have a two-hour lithium battery to work from to watch movies. You can take this thing camping. There are so many cool uses. So let's get to the unboxing to show you what comes with it. And then I'll go through an overview of how things look and all its features. I am excited to be checking out this wireless uh, small projector. This is the smallest projector that I have ever had the chance to use. So this should be pretty cool. Let's open this guy up. This flap comes up, it's got like a magnet on the top of this to hold it shut. Here is the projector itself. I am able to hold it in the palm of my hand. Very cool. It's got some weight to it. So when I tap on it, it is encased in metal. It looks like it's got a plastic front and a plastic back, but it does have some weight to it and it feels very heavy duty and I like that for durability if I'm going to be taking this thing out and about. We've also got a remote included. And we've got our power cable. Oh, there looks to be something else in here. They even give you an HDMI cable. So for storing and taking this with you, there's no included bag or plastic storage case, but this is a pretty heavy duty cardboard packaging and as I was showing when I opened it there's a magnet one or two of them here to hold this down and when you are done using this you can use this box as a carrying case it's so small I mean it's just barely bigger than my hand so as far as taking this with you you can use this box as a carrying case as well also real quick in all of the videos on our channel we hide tinker he's our little hidden robot and he's gonna briefly pop up somewhere during this video if you happen to spot him be the first person to let me know the timestamp the time you saw him pop up in this video down in the comments section below and you'll have a chance to get your name and your YouTube channel if you have one featured on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. So in testing the projector I've got my kitchen scale here let's set it down to test the weight and it is weighing in at just over a pound one pound 2.3 ounces there is not much to this guy at all in fact, I'm going to take off the plastic coating that's on here. Nice. Look at that. So I could easily put this in a backpack if I was traveling and I was going to put this in my carry-on or just easily stow this somewhere. This thing is so small that it would be easy to do. So let's take a quick look at the overview of this projector. So the projector itself is just six inches in length. Uh, by four inches high. On the front you'll see we've got our projection lens as well as this vent. So there's a fan inside which you will hear run when it's turned on but it doesn't make any noise. Uh, you'll hear the air blowing but it is very quiet as you are using the projector. As we keep moving on to the side you'll see uh, this is where the speaker is going to output the sound. And then as we keep moving towards the back, you'll find the power button, which you can hold in for a couple of seconds to power it on. The DC port where you're going to plug in the power cable, USB and HDMI ports that you can get your media from either your USB drive or say a DVD player or laptop using HDMI. You can plug those in here. And then as far as outputting the sound, it does have the Bluetooth capability or if you want to manually connect it into another speaker 
or headphones, you've got that option as well. As we continue to the last side of the projector, this has the focus wheel, which you can just gently turn to the left or right, and that's going to focus the projector depending on how far back you have it sitting from the wall or wherever you're trying to project it. And then there's two more slots here, a micro SD card slot or another USB slot. Again, two different uh, types of media that you can also use to send your uh, whatever you're trying to view, your video or your media. Uh, you can import those into the projector using those slots. I also want to make note that on the bottom there are some rubber feet to keep it from sliding around. The projector also comes with this remote and you can do everything including turning the projector on and off from this remote. It's got the dial so you can navigate through the different menus and then your return or your enter button. And then you've got your other buttons here, home and just different back buttons and things as you're navigating through different menus using the remote. The remote's also got uh, the option here where you can turn the volume up and down which is very convenient. And then on the bottom, this remote uses two AAA batteries, which did not come with the unit. So let me give you an example of powering up this projector. We'll hold that button down for a couple of seconds. You can hear the fan powering up, and you'll see the brightness coming on the lens. This projector has a brightness of 170 ANSI lumens. So now let's take a look at how this projector performed in my different tests. So this is the screen being projected on one of the angled walls that we have and I've got our bedroom lights fully on and you can still see the picture pretty good. Let me flip the lights off. So with the lights off this is the picture quality and I have got the screen. I just measured it here it is from the lower left corner to the upper right corner, 80 inches right now. So this is an 80 inch screen. So in testing the projector out tonight, my son and I just watched Despicable Me, which is an hour and 35 minutes. We were able to make it through the entire movie on just battery from this projector. And then about the last 20 minutes of the movie, we did get a warning from the projector that the battery was getting low. Afterwards, we messed around a little bit with watching some YouTube and some other things, and I'd say we got about two hours worth of battery out of this projector before the battery died, which is uh, what it's estimated to have, about a two-hour battery. Now, when you start the projector up, you're going to get this screen here, and it's got several apps preloaded like YouTube, Netflix, and you can just click into those, and then if you've got a Netflix account or a YouTube account you can log in and then start watching things on there and here we are on my YouTube uh, Tinker Forward channel and I'll give you a quick audio sample. And to do that I have myself a Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to just start removing the old fixture. <laughs> One of my better moments there so I will uh, if you want to check out that video I'll link to it down in the uh, description below but just an example here of the streaming you can do using Wi-Fi if you've got the projector hooked into your Wi-Fi you can stream and watch stuff on YouTube you also can use the Wi-Fi to get onto Netflix so we're now outside and we are projecting onto our garage and uh, this projection image is now 90 inches uh, from the lower left corner to the upper right corner. It's a little bit dimmer, but we've got the projector pulled back about 15 feet from the garage door. Just sitting on the ground, again, not plugged in, running on battery. I think the colors are very sharp, picture is very good. I was able to use the eShare app and uh, install that onto my Google Pixel 3 phone and that allowed me to uh, cast any images and videos that I had taken on my Google Pixel 3 onto the projector wirelessly so that I could share those with uh, family. Take a second right now, if you're getting some value out of watching this projector review video, uh, smash that like button as it definitely helps out this video and this channel. I'm just amazed at how far the technology has come, how small everything is getting and how portable everything is getting, uh, even comparing this projector 
which is made by Cronova, uh, to another projector, uh, which I also reviewed by Cronova, which is their XPE660 LED projector, which I was also very impressed with. And if you're interested in checking that out, I will leave a link to that video review down in the description below as well. So in giving my honest review about this projector, um, one thing that I wish they could improve on as awesome as the two hour battery is, uh, if you're like me and you like watching a lot of movies, there's a lot of movies that are over two hours in length. And with just the two hour battery on this projector, I guess you risk not being able to watch the entire movie if it's two hours or longer. Now that being said, there are tons of things you can watch that are under two hours, including television shows, uh, presentations, videos, like home videos and things like that. So this projector, still at its two hour battery life, gives you a lot of different options if you are somewhere where you don't have power available that you can plug in. Something else that I would just make as a suggestion for this projector, and again, this is me getting a little bit more nitpicky. What I wish they would do is also include some sort of a heavy duty uh, packaging, just like a, a small plastic container that's padded or something like that, so you can easily transport this projector versus just the cardboard packaging that it comes in. So this lightweight projector is perfect if you are on the go, and I think it's at a very affordable price right now, priced somewhere around $270 online, and I will leave links down in the description below so you can check out this projector as well as get more information on it. So I'm interested to know your thoughts. What do you think of this mini projector? Or do you have any questions? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to Tinker Ford, take a second right now, hit that subscribe button, that little notification bell. You'll get notified as I release weekly videos doing different tech reviews, tutorials, and more. Some of the latest reviews I've done are smartwatches, Fitbit, and Garmin. Also done LED lighting reviews, um, other projectors, as well as other tech uh, such as Bluetooth receivers, Bluetooth speakers, and more. So maybe if you're even looking for a speaker to connect to this mini projector, you can find all of that on this channel as well. My name is Jeff. This is Tinker Ford. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video. But for now, I'm going to go watch a movie on this nifty little mini projector.